over the finals! America's Cup! Here at South by Southwest, this is exciting. Uh, she won last night. She's been in Chicago, she's now in New York. Man, I'm gonna make it loud for Miss Grace Leishman. <laughs> Yeah, it's Grace Leishman. It's been a long, I'm sorry, I've literally been from like 18 over my years I'm sorry. Uh, and a lot of the battle. <laughs> that was great. Uh, let's see. Grace, you got one key, this is funny. From Chicago. Folks, from Los Angeles, one of the greatest battles in history. Think about Mr. Keith Cancer. Got a lot of getting introduced shortly after an apology to the crowd. That's fucking electric vibes, boss. Just way to go. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I, I think it's a good crowd. It's one of the best crowds I've ever had, and I really apologize for beating the shit out of you. <laughs> Gigi, how you feeling over there? I'm feeling fabulous, you know, just sitting here in my own feminine juices. Disgusting. I know. Let's go to the last battle, Darian and, uh, and Chris. Yeah, it would have been nice to talk during it, dick. <laughs> so I completely forgot about you, like every, every white woman. Sorry about that. I do miss Gigi. Gigi, it's Texas. Someone will kill you in the park. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think there's a noose strong enough. <laughs> Very strong enough for Gigi. Yeah. There you go. Obviously weigh like three pounds. So you're a very skinny Gigi. Uh, but you're the devil because you're literally sitting in the devil's chair there. Uh, are you gonna are you gonna review these children this weekend here in Texas? Am I gonna want the children? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, let's drag this show out even more. Anybody else wanna do a set? Just one. Okay, very much. Alright, it's one round of five jokes. It's the last battle of the night, Keith and Grace. Who wants to go first? I'm gonna go first. You got this? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Battle! Guys, give it up for Marshmallow Mathers. <laughs> the real fat shady. <laughs> you guys probably recognize Keith. He hosts a podcast. It's called, wait, wait, are you gonna finish that? <laughs> are both members of the LGBT community, which for her stands for lanky, gangly, bad tits. <laughs> Seriously, I've never met a taller, queer woman in my life. You're putting the dyke in Dykembe Matumbo. <laughs> bedroom is the dom and just look at him. Never in his life has he turned down a sub. <laughs> My safe word is blimpies. <laughs> Grace got sober three years ago. Uh, she had to. If her liver got to be black or it wouldn't be allowed into her gated community. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy Buffet. <laughs> I stopped drinking. Thank you so much. <laughs> I stopped drinking. Keith drinks too much. The only thing higher than his blood alcohol content is his blood pressure. <laughs> Grace told me that she has feet that are too small for her body. Uh, which has got to be weird to have the feet of a Japanese geisha and the height of the radioactive lizard that destroyed Tokyo. Thank you, Danny Doritos. <laughs> I'm like, 
have small feet, you keep eating the way you do, you're gonna lose yours. <laughs> Christian. So when she says grace, she says amen. And when I see grace, I see amen. <laughs> Thank you, Snack Black. <laughs> um, Keith's mom uh, was a drug addict, and she moved his family around 18 times as a kid. So, she stole his childhood, but who stole your neck? <laughs> I like that more than you did. Yeah. <laughs> Grace seems like the kind of bougie bitch who would order in French at a restaurant to prove she knew French. Now, I say that because when me and Grace went to lunch today, she ordered in French to prove she knew French. It was, she wanted a chocolate croissant. She goes, can I get a pot of chocolate? The guy's like, yeah, I'll go spit on your faggot donut in the bag. Like, That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> guys, give me go for Grace last week. Can you hear me? Audience, who we have fun tonight? Big love for the audience. Audience, 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 audience. Now she's going to be hurtful. All right, Gigi, before I never talk to you again, who's your life? You guys look like two titties that are different sizes. They do look like that. Gigi has spoken. Be gone. Mario and Luigi. <laughs> You're Luigi. What do you think? <laughs> it's true, it's true. All right, uh, let's go with my, my judges panel here. Kosha Dills. Who's you like in this battle? I gotta give it to Luigi. She really fucking ended it out just at the end when he gave me a fucking run on sentence for 37 seconds. That was the loser of the one, but he killed it otherwise. I gotta give it to Yo! As one for Grace Leishman versus Morgan Anderson tomorrow night in the finals. Emily Hampshire, who do you like? I really like the, the DJ, the music. Yeah. 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 That's the boy. Um, I. What is your name? Oh, uh, this is Kitty. Kitty, Kitty Kim. Um, I really liked how much you enjoyed her jokes more than I. So I, you, you're, you're the one for me. Okay. You're tired. It's one for the people the grace. We're gonna go with Sam, Sam Talon. Who do you like in this one? I like the little twitchy guy a lot. But... You like Grace? <laughs> this is Chris Wood. Grace does look like if Gigi was born correctly. Oh. That is, that is just accurate. That's very accurate. I Science is behind my needs, but uh, I, I'm, I'm going to have to go with Grace. Grace, I, when you did the joke about him not having a neck, I clapped like a seal, and I went, that's a good joke, and then Joe said, no, no, it's not. So, uh, he was very stern and serious about it, I like the neck joke, that's what did it for me. That's just good old-fashioned fun, and that's it. Yeah. Everyone was great. Thanks for finally doing a good job, you too. Way to book a great show. How many of these fucking people owe you a goddamn favor? They don't! Well, then you need to get it together. All right. Sam, we, we, we should get out of here. We should fail. Armadillo man, start the car. All right, guys. Show's over. See you guys later. <laughs> Joe DeRosa, right now, the gray slice was up. Two to one. Who do you like? I was, uh, I was distracted. Keith, I've known you for a long time. I never noticed. All your friends. Yeah, it's a lot of it, dude. Jesus Christ, you twitch so much, I thought a 12 year old was going to start streaming video games. <laughs> <laughs> it's a girl loves video games. Listen, I, I thought you both did great.
I, I, it's, it's, you know, this is a hard thing to do. Uh, you both did two things that I don't like that whenever I see it in Rose Battle. I don't like after every joke when the other person goes, thank you, Domino Fats, or whatever. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You do like a play on words. I can't think of anything that's not right.
So it's a tie right two and two. Oh, I thought you voted, Joe. My bad. Okay. One more time. Audience. We're going to overtime for this one. One more time. 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 So Keith went first, am I right about that? I went first. You went first, so... Keith's first is one. Yeah. This is overtime, this is a joke of... Overtime, let's throw us! Woo! Grace claims to be queer, but has never actually had sex with a woman. Now in her defense, every time she tries to make a move, those planes come by and shoot her down from the Empire State Building. Which is very cold. This is why you didn't have the first five, you guys. You see why the croissant one became necessary. Why didn't I just say Joe voted for me? I had it out. Teeth, you can always justify a croissant. Uh, Keith is a diabetic drama kid. Middle school, his bullies called him Insulin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> Please let them have been the last joke. That's it. Okay, now they're. Fuck. Make sure you got Joe's sandwich before you go. Alright, this is it. Emporium at the summit. Thank you very much. <laughs> sandwich summit. I'll be talking to local sandwich makers about what the struggles of opening a sandwich shop are. As I if that did, doesn't sell it, I don't know what will. You guys don't want to come here and dry discussion about what interests people in this thing. Yes, and that's the only pepper that will be there. This is it. Give me, give me, give me five votes. Who's going on to Ballot Morgan tomorrow night here, Green in the Cave, 11 p.m. in front of fucking three people? Who's doing this? Shut up. I'll go first. I thought they were both very good, and I enjoyed both of them, but I'm very partial to the next joke. It was so stupid, so Grace gets my vote. Gigi, who do you like? I like everyone here who's speaking with two brain cells left in their minds. For the love of God, someone votes. I'm a queen, I'm a figurehead, I don't need to vote, I just cost money to parade around. Very true. Alright, but I do vote for Keith, because he kind of just like farted out a bunch of random thoughts. <laughs> I, I hope I really like how you admitted that your joke wasn't your idea, and I think that's a really funny <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, well, you've been very consistent. Thank you so much. I was, I was, I was pleasantly surprised with the misdirection of the 9-11 joke to the Empire State Building, so that threw me off a little bit. I, I enjoy that you went back to the croissant yet again. All roads. And now I'm going to go to 7 Eleven to get a croissant after this, so I'm going to give it to you. Thanks. All right. Great for you. Go ahead. I'm so glad that 7 Eleven has croissants. <laughs> Because I really did believe in both of you and knew that you'd already done your best. <laughs> I knew you had nothing left. Uh, so mean. That's very mean. 
Just about it was already 10 out of two people shaped like the number 10. Um, <laughs> Laura Hardy, yes. Laura Hardy. Uh, I was. Uh, I know, but nobody heard it. That's all she was.